Hey there, YouTube and world. How are you all doing? I hope you all are doing fantastic. So today, I'm doing a driving vlog. It's a long time. So, I'm going to talk about, yes, you guessed it, Bitcoins. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to keep talking about Bitcoins till this Bitcoin trend dies down or disappears completely, which I'm pretty sure it will, you know, because Bitcoin, when it started out, it started out in the underground world. So it was a crime, mining and selling, buying and trading bitcoins, and now in 2018, it's a crime again, thanks to some new policies by the government of the United States of America. Those who are trading, buying, selling bitcoins will be termed as criminals. <laughs> I mean, hey, it makes sense, right? Because if someone wanted or uh, let's say if a big printing company wanted he could have printed a lot of money you know paper money notes dollars US dollars I mean how hard is it to print dollars with technologies available in the market nowadays right so the question is why they don't make their own money then why they don't print their own money and some who does they are termed as counterfeit you know counterfeiters and the money is termed as counterfeit money and it's a, it's a crime if you actually try to print money <laughs> that's how it should be right so when it comes to bitcoins it's like you're making your own money yeah it's digital money but still you're making your own money doing it illegally I mean if I wanted I could print some money and get rich you get what I mean so I don't want to do that because I know it's a crime I will be prosecuted if I try to print some money and sort it around places so it makes sense right it makes sense that it has been termed as a illegal activity to mine trade sell or buy bitcoins or any other cryptocurrencies for that matter so like I explained in my previous videos which I have the links below on the description you'll see that there are no regulatory bodies to control cryptocurrencies, to, you know, regulate cryptocurrencies. I mean, most of the cryptocurrencies used or utilized are for illegal purposes, you know, like maybe buying illegal weapons, buying illegal goods, you know, some countries, some, uh, religious countries they don't allow alcohol in the countries you can actually buy alcohol using cryptocurrencies and the government can't track you and then in some countries you know prostitution is illegal so you can uh, you know pay for sex and with cryptocurrencies you know illegal sex I mean those that are termed illegal by governments of most of the countries of the world you know one funny thing is there's a country called Bangladesh it's a third world country that country's government actually banned cryptocurrencies way back I mean maybe five or six years ago they banned it completely and they made it illegal you know if you do anything regarding Cryptocurrencies, if you want to trade, sell, buy, or mine cryptocurrencies, you'll be jailed. Yep, that's true. That's how it is in that third world country of Bangladesh. 
So if Bangladesh knows how bad it is, how dangerous cryptocurrencies is, I'm not sure why the, you know, the first world countries, the modern countries, the more up-to-date, techn technologically advanced countries are allowing bitcoins or cryptocurrencies to float around like that, you know. It's gonna go out of hand pretty soon. It already has, but, you know, I'm not sure where they're all going with this, but this is not heading towards the right direction. There's going to be huge, you know, wealth division. There already is, but it's gonna get wider and bigger, you know. It's gonna be really bad. So, since it's illegal to trade with cryptocurrencies, I'm not gonna talk about cryptocurrencies anymore, all right, all right. Stay cool, everybody, and see you later, man. And stay fantastic. Oh, yeah.